Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to display a toaster message while editing, updating and deleting your data. So in case if you guys don't know what a toaster message is, I will show it to you in this video practically. So let's just go to the Pipsy ad and add a random data. I will name it King, I'll give it a random email address and then an address. I'll choose a random image, click on submit. And uh, here we go. As you guys can see, my data has been successfully inserted inside my table, but I see no image and uh, no messages. So, to add a toaster uh, message, what we need to do is we need to open a new tab and type in IZI toaster or just toast. Yeah, it's toast. And then it's this first website. I will leave the link of this website inside the description box. And uh, as you guys can see, this website has a lot of beautiful uh, toaster messages. Now, let's scroll down and to the start part. Now, there's two ways to add the toaster messages. The first one is with the CDN links and then locally. So I'm going to be uh, inserting these files locally inside the project, our project. So to do that, we need two files, the IZI toaster men.css and also the izi toast men.js file so let's copy this text and search it on google and download it from the this website so let's download this css file okay i'll just copy this file go to the root directory project public assets and since it's a css file i'll paste this inside the css folder now let's copy the min.js file as well and download it so i'll just um download this js file as well and paste it inside the copy and paste it inside the public assets and js file so i'll just paste it right here now let's go back to our code editor and uh, let's go to the master page and inside the master page let's paste these two files that we downloaded. So I'll just copy this link and uh, right below the styler CSS paste it right here and then give it the toast.css path. So I'll just type in izi and then it's the second file min.css now let's do the same thing inside the script tags to add the js file so i'll just paste the tag here and then give it the izi min.js path now what we need to do is we need to write down the code for displaying the toaster messages so to write down the code and display the messages it's pretty easy what we need to do is we need to start with an if condition so i'll just uh, type in f and then access the session function and then get and let's name our message so i'll just name it success now let's take in the script tag and inside the script tag, let's paste the toaster message. So to do that, let's go back to the toaster website and uh, copy the code from here and paste it inside the script tag. I'll format the code so it would look, it would look good. Now, inside of title, I'll just leave that empty and then I'll give it a position. So position. And then uh, let's choose a position from the website. So these are the positions that we can add. And uh, I will choose the top right position. You guys can choose any position that you want from this list. So let's go back and paste it right here. Now what I'm going to do inside the message, I am going to copy this session and paste it here inside double curly braces and right here i'll just paste it now to display the message the toaster message inside all pages what we need to do is we need to start with an if condition 
and uh, make a variable. So I'll just make a variable errors and then um, I'll access the any function to display in all our pages and then I will take a for each loop and then inside this for each loop I will access my variable so it's called errors and then um, what we need to do is we need to put the error in all pages so all and then um, I will change it to errors now what we need to do is we need to copy this script tag from here and uh, let's add it right here now we need to make some changes inside the double curly braces I will just type in the uh, variable so it's called error and then now what we need to do is we need to go to a controller and um, let's add it inside the update function so right here this is the width function and then uh, our message what was our message it was called uh, success so I'll just copy this message and paste it right here and then write my own message so I'll just type in successfully updated since we are going to be displaying this message inside the update function so let's go back to our page and uh, refresh this uh, let's edit this I will change the address to let's just say Zimbabwe or Zambia let's click on submit and there we go as you guys can see the message has been successfully displayed here now what we need to do is we need to go back to our master page and instead of show I will just type in success and do the same thing right here now let's go back refresh this and uh, let's update this data we'll make it London and I'll choose a default image click on submit and there we go as you guys can see our toaster message has been successfully uh, displayed now we can also add this inside the delayed function as well so to do that what we need to do is simply go to the delayed function and right here says the width and then mm, our toaster message name and then our message so I'll just say successfully deleted now let's go back to our page refresh this and click on delete okay so it's called to method so oh, okay sorry I typed it wrong so it's width now let's refresh this go back refresh and it was delayed now let me delete this data as well show you guys and there we go as you guys can see it says successfully deleted you can add this message while um editing updating and uh deleting your data so if you guys have any question make sure to comment down below and i'll be happy to help you guys don't forget to like and subscribe see you guys soon